Now to an Arizona family investigates follow up on a medical transport company that helps Native Americans in rural communities. The state pays for ride link services and as we reported yesterday, reimbursements stopped without warning about three months ago, leaving them in quite a financial bind. Well, after our investigation aired, ride link is now hearing back from the state about this situation. Amy Cutler's in the studio tonight with the update, Amy. Yeah, and this is a really positive development for this company that was really struggling. RideLink says the state Medicaid system, known as Access, finally emailed them to set up a Zoom. In that meeting, they tell us Access began approving some of their claims and went over what information they needed moving forward. This is a big development because the company hasn't been reimbursed for the vast majority of their claims for months. It's meant they haven't been able to pay their 33 drivers and office staff. This is a company that provides rides to Native Americans, mostly from the Navajo Nation to hospitals and doctor's offices. Back in January, Access confirmed it changed its billing protocols. That was in response to a scandal last year, also involving Native Americans that cost taxpayers $2 billion. Now, Access said providers were made aware of the changes through a newsletter. RideLink explains they struggled to get a hold of someone at Access. I called to question, no answers. They said, um, you, we would rather you email us. So I did email them. They're not answering the questions as to why they have um, to go to the doctor or specialist. Some of them come all the way from Navajo Nation down here to Phoenix. That's a six hour drive. And it is those long drives access said that they were flagging we also called and emailed them several times, urging access to reach out to RideLink to help get this resolved. Finally, they have. RideLink says they promised to review all of their claims by the end of the day. Now, they wouldn't be reimbursed for about two weeks. RideLink stopped providing services last week. They simply ran out of money. They are hopeful once they start having money come in, they can start back up. So we plan to follow up on this. That's great because I know you've profiled some of these uh, riders who were actually or some of the providers who are doing out of pocket because they're like, we want to take care of our people. So, so thankful that you got involved and tried to get them some help. It's an important Thanks, service, guys. Amy. Yeah. Thanks.